how we all diddly do and how's everybody holding up? You might be thinking, where have you bloody been, bitch? Where have you bloody been? And to that I say, I'm out of fucking business. No, I jest, I jest. You know what, you you have you have to know. I'm going to be honest with you, babe. I have been at one of the countryside. I've been much too busy, actually. I have bike rides now. No, but for real, I actually took a week off to handle <laughs> a depression from morning. Also, I was switching my mad tabs over and Citalopram really does be flying with me. I have been kind of concerned that I am just, in fact, manic. But you know what? It's been over a week now, babe, and... Uh... Still going strong. I think Satalapram is, is just flirting with me. I think we can have a nice, happy, healthy relationship together. I'm also decorating right now. So Declan is editing these 100%. I am trying a new background thing with a green screen. But it keeps... It's fucking intermittent, isn't it? You might see things pop. Oh, look, there's a plant. Today, what we're going to be doing is actually... I'm, listen, I just need to talk about this for a second. Nina and Dina, I've spoken about it before. They have been robbed. Nina and Dina Caliente have been robbed by the Sims team. And I just... Listen, I need to talk about this injustice. These ladies, right? Look at the fucking power. She's a man eater, to make them work hard. They're absolutely 10 out of 10. My internalised misogyny as a child made me not really like these two. And then my... It's not externalised misogyny, is it? I've got rid of my internalised misogyny. And now I'm like, boss babe, boss babe i love them and i'm not being fucking funny but these two women they support themselves they live in their own home two women <gasps> sorry to my desk <laughs> just attacked you there he he sorry honey two women that support themselves on their own home and you know what they're not afraid to say i like a little bit of money now i'm not a tory right and one of these two do have a hint of Tari. Guess which one it is. But you know what? We support them anyway. And then we move on to The Sims 4. Right, new game. Bip bap, bip bap bap. Oh, I hate how you have to... You know what I miss? I miss how you could just enter a world and then you could decide if you wanted to make a family. You can't with this. Like, wh what if I want to... Excuse all these, by the way. I have mods installed. Yeah, that's right. I'm back into modding. I haven't made them, though. That sounds like I have made them. I have not. <laughs> I did not have modding relations with this game. But yeah, with this, you have to fucking make a family and then move them in. I don't want to do that, babe. Right, this is inherently something about The Sims 4 that we need to talk about. I like gameplay and storyline. Apparently, I'm just in a writing mood. Do you know what it is? Right, listen. I have three IRL friends. I probably have more. I have more. I've just got Beth and Paul, right? Obviously, we're in lockdown, so I can't see him. We have a parasocial relationship, babe, but it's it's equal on both sides, you know what I mean? Like, I... <laughs> I, I said it before, I'll say it again. You really are my main source of conversation and I never feel as comfortable as I do sat in front of this camera talking to you guys. So is that a negative? I don't think so. Oh my God. Katrina, babe. What is... Why... <laughs> Why are we all angry? What is happening here on this day? This is supposed to be the man, which is a fucking bald, big, fat lie. That is, that is not correct because the mum is actually Nihat Caliente. Hello, just popping in and editing to say another thing that bothers me. They've replaced the name from a Muslim name to Katrina, which, got to keep it down for Katrina. It is a nice name, right? But it just sounds like a stereotypical white lass. No offence to anyone who's got that name. I'm Jessica. I'm a stereotypical white lass. You're kind of erasing a big bit of backstory. It's not right, hon. It's not right. Which you will know if you've watched my entire history of the Caliente family. I do recommend that. And I do have an entire history of series coming. But obviously, once I've redecorated, Nostalgia Week's coming, which I'm sorry. We're four months, nearly five months in the end. It's still not here. But do you know what else is not quite here? My 100% mental stability. Thank you, Corona. But what's weird about this, right, is these are Nina and Dina, and I will get into their appearances. And it's listen, it's not all about appearances, right? Absolutely not at all, babe. Absolutely not at all. These aren't the vibes of Nina and Dina. But before we get onto this, this man, it looks way too fucking happy. It, it looks way too happy to be living with his future girlfriends whilst dating their mother. It's not illegal, right? Because these are technically young adults. It's not illegal. It sure as fuck feels illegal. Do you know what I mean? So that relationship is uh, questionable. Questionable at best. Little bit illegal at worst, but very questionable at best. Morally wrong. That That's not even great, just morally wrong. It's the type of shit you'd find on Reddit, like half hour slash relationships. I was dating a man and now he's dating my daughters. Don, honestly, The Sims 4 hasn't done him that dirty, really. Like, this gives me vibes of Don. I would like to see him in a shirt, though. But Nina and Dina, the cheese hair just does not match this energy. I'm not feeling it. Sorry. That is not... They... 
like I laugh because it's a very serious topic and it makes me uncomfortable and therefore my natural reaction to that is is to laugh. Bad traits that I have, very awkward trait that I have. Do I detect whitewashing? Like, do I think that it was an intentional thing? No, but it doesn't have to be intentional to be bad, babe. Let's just jump in at Creative Sim, which, listen, I'm gonna try my best, but I'm fucking shite at Creative Sim. Like, I am big fat failure. I'm just gonna cancel her off. Sorry, babe. Bye, bitch. <laughs> They're not dating yet, right? Bella Goth is still, she still lives and reigns in The Sims 4, so I, I'm, Cassandra Goth is a teen, like, like that, I'm not quite ready for that relationship to happen between Don and the Caliente sisters. They're too good for it, babe. They are too good for it. Does anyone actually use these? I feel like these were a cool idea at first, and then I just don't tend to watch my Sims walking. First and foremost, the skin tone. We're gonna have to sort it out, babe. See, if I feel like it's warmer than that, but lighter than that. About that? I think so. Maybe just a little bit warmer. Maybe that. You know what? I think that. And listen, I, I am really, honestly, hand on heart, truthfully, I'm not the best in create sim in fact when we were filming sparked molly the english summer had to physically take the mouse off me because i didn't have a clue what i was doing i've just never been a create sim lover i like the hair and the outfits but designing sims you couldn't trust me as far as you could throw me babe i can't design fuck all i'm sorry right and i also i have been dabbling in custom content look Look at her. <laughs> Look at her. So I will be using custom content for this. I hope that is okay. So she's kind of got the straight hair vibe, which, you know what? I do like. Do I bring her into 21st century? I think I am. I'm going to bring her into 2021. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I like that one, but I also like that one. Is that off uh, m &S or is it Aldi? That's my hair. That's my hair. Vic, I made that hair inspired by me. Do you know what's really weird for me, right? Honestly, I'm gonna go on a little bit of a rant here. Like, obviously I've been downloading custom content for years because I've been playing The Sims for absolutely fucking years. Like, literally yonks I've been playing The Sims for since the year 2000, actually, don't you know? And it's quite bizarre for me to have custom content creators that I've been downloading from for years and years and years and years before my YouTube channel actually know who I am. How bizarre. It has been very bizarre though, I'm not going to lie actually. I could have sworn I downloaded custom eyes, but I can't remember. All right, she's got a little bit of a smoky look. All right, I'm gonna give her a little bit of a wang. Do I, I don't think I've downloaded Kajiko eyelashes, you know, so I might just have to put them on her because I really don't think I've got them. Is anyone else having this issue, right? Like, is this still a skin tone issue or is this a custom content issue? I'm not too sure, but I'm getting these pixels. Is it? Hang on, some swatches don't have it or it might just be because it's a lighter swatch i'm not, not going to lie well you know what i have i make this rant a lot i don't wear lipstick ever i don't like the feeling of it on my lips even vaseline is a bit much for me actually i am this like bitch that i'm getting the vibes more unlike fucking who is she where did you find her i am very much feeling this one. Also, what is, what's like the original clothing that she has on? A little, oh, we love an LBD, a little black dress. Yes, I got the wares right for that one. Custom content, honestly, like I think because for a while, for the longest time, I didn't play The Sims just for fun. I put too much of my self-worth and happiness into my YouTube channel and now that's changed and YouTube has become a hobby for me again rather than a main source of my anxiety. So because of that, I've actually been playing The Sims 4 purely for fun and literally just for fun and just for me which has helped like making content become a hobby again with that i've also been dabbling in custom content again because i didn't really need it before and now that i've been dabbling in custom content and mods again oh my fucking god it changes the game i am oh god i love it i don't actually have that many little black dresses so i don't know whether i should do like a little black oh wait if we do this because i've got accessories right hmm don't have that many accessories apparently. I think I want to make her an insta baddie. Oh my god, I have I have so many more tops than I thought I had. What the fuck? <gasps> Matching. I'm feeling this. Honestly, Dina, babe, Dina, this is your revival. I'm trying to stop spending money on clothes, but it is my favourite hobby. My solution is just simply live vicariously through my Sims because it is something that I do quite flawlessly. Oh, if they have these with like, they're not gonna weather. I'm getting very sick of you. Wait, we have brown converse and all that. Be the one. 
on. I'm going to give her some of them because I do feel like Dina is the type of person to bully like surfer kids and emo kids and stuff like that in high school and then steal all of their trends later on in life which you know what it's been it's been really funny for me to see all of the fucking chavs from my school adopt some of the emo and e-girl but you know what like it, I'm not gatekeeping I actually love to see it but it has been quite funny and then I think a nice simple necklace do we do perfect Dina you've never looked better babe but I'm actually really proud you know what I'm really feeling the vibe of her I'm just getting a little there we go oh she's smiling look she's happy she said thank you but you know what you're welcome babe I'm literally here yeah. not that often actually because I am decorating at the minute but you know what if you want to contact me again Nina I am here right now is the challenge she just doesn't look like a do you know what I mean? like that is not that we can try I don't know necessarily if we'll succeed but I'm you know what I'm willing to put out there I'm willing to try she might look better without all of the makeup I'm also just going to make the pupils a little bit bigger because I do feel like she's staring at my soul at the minute with them she's got like a more shaggy cut where she's quite pro and proper she's quite shaggy i actually think i might give her that let me look at her traits i'm going by the sims 2 as well like let me see she's neat active she's a little bit nice she's not that i'm going though she's quite shy and here she's hot-headed romantic and a bit lazy i think her makeup routine and everything like that oh i need to change her skin color as well because that is not her skin tone sims team which one did i have yeah about that. Oh, do we give her a scar? Do we give her a bit of background? This might be why she's shy. She goes, ah, no. who the fuck let me have a YouTube channel? What the fuck? I won't actually. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to make her into a fucking Remus Lupin, are not Anyway, I kind of want to give her freckles. I don't know if she had them originally, but I think I would like to give her a, oh, I might give her a little bit of blush as well. Natural che cheery little blush. You know what? She's looking a bit like Lindsay Lohan. I'm going to take the blusher off her. I can just put that in. I can put that in with makeup, right? Eyes. She is going to be, she's a bit more shy, but I think she's a bit more bright, but she's also, she's the chief of mischief. Maybe she is Remus Lupin, mischief managed and all that. <laughs> I'm giving her an entire new personality because you know what? I think the last deserves it. She, she's been through. Do I think she was there on the night of Belagoth's disappearance. No comment, Your Honor. Is a bit suspicious, though. No comment, but I would definitely investigate. I'm happy with that. And now for clothing, because she is hot headed and a bit flirty and a bit of a couch potato and also the chief of mischief, and she's a bit dastardly, the dastard bastard. I would like to give her the outfit of someone who is kind of cool, but also could potentially bully me because she is just in a bikini in in the pictures. But I don't know if I'm feeling that for her here. This is my vision over the knee socks thigh high boots i always think the feet look so small or maybe just the thigh high boots you know what i mean like that's that's good enough for me actually i don't want to do it like that no she's gonna make a statement she's a fucking caliente she's named a caliente she's making a statement and that's that and if you don't like your fuck off that's her attitude that's what i see with her you know what i'm fucking proud of her i'm proud of her for shagging mortimer maybe not that one actually i do feel a bit bad for bella there but you know what mortimer's also a bit of an asshole i don't i just get that feeling maybe it's because he's a rich white old man that could be it actually not think I'm, i've hit the nail on the head there but i also seem to think there is a reason why i don't like mortimer i'm sure there was something shady you done around the time of bella's disappearance that made me think mm. excuse me what, sir why are you glowing you know what i'm gonna let you have your moment baby you deserve it there you go that is glowing though isn't it is that radioactive that's a case for the courts the bigger the hope the bigger the how i'm gonna take my nose ring off I, I think it's a bit it's a bit overpowering actually what's wrong with nose hips since you asked so nice Nicely deck and I actually had a nose hoop before, but it never healed fully, and then I just had a big massive growth on it for the best part of a year. So a lot of trauma surrounding them actually. I've got a jump like that. Nobody asked, they go. Introducing new and improved Nina and Dina. Caliente, look at him. Oh, let me see him in game. Let me see your reaction, babe. Can't wait to see ya. Oh, God, I forgot we were angry. Listen, babe, I'm in such a good mood right now. You kind of kill my vibe. Sort yourselves out. Oh, I thought they were holding the hands there. Sisters, sisters of the world. Do I have a pause pack? I don't think I do. Let's share a secret. I just want to get a picture, I'll be honest with you. Is she about to throw a drink? Right, well, actually, I think there's no need for me to still be recording. That is this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry I'm a little bit rusty. I haven't recorded in a while, but I feel very happy to be back, and I really enjoyed myself in this video. I'm in a completely different headspace to how I was before I took my break, and things are going really well for me right now. My hair is all, but it keeps on keeping on. I love you all very, very much. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, bitch.